When it comes to dividend investing, there are really only two major ways on how to get insanely rich. Now, the first is going to be you have to have the underlying investment grow in price to a point to where you can liquidate the asset and cash in big time. Now, the other way being to invest into an asset that pays a dividend, but not only pays a dividend. On top of that, pays more and more in dividends over time, making the assets sort of an endless money pile that just keeps paying more and more just by holding on to it. Now, in today's video, we're going to go over three different ETFs that not only offer one of those, but offer both. Yes, ETFs that offer not only growth, which can make your net worth balloon in size, but also offer cash flow, which will pay you more and more long into the future and beyond. Now, if this interests you at all, make sure to please stick around, drop a like down below, and let's get into the first dividend growth ETF. Now, the first dividend growth ETF that's going to do both of those things, or at least has historically, is going to be DGRO or the iShares Core Dividend Growth ETF. Now, right here on the iShares website, it says why DGRO, and you're going to get exactly what I mean. It says DGRO offers low cost exposure to US stocks focused on dividend growth. Now, one of the ways we talked about on how dividend investors can get insanely rich is by focusing on exactly that. Focusing on an investment that pays more and more in dividends over time. And DGRO's investment objective is the iShares Core Dividend Growth ETF seeks to track the investment results of an index composed of US equities with a history of consistently growing dividends. Sounds pretty good so far. But like we said earlier, even if DGRO, for example, pays a nice dividend and also pays more and more in dividends over time, or at least has historically, growth is also going to be an important piece of the puzzle. And at least historically speaking, since about 2014, or around 10 or so years ago, the DGRO ETF has basically doubled in ETF price. Considering back around 10 years ago, this ETF was trading around $25 per share. And imagine if you had hundreds of shares back then. Now this ETF is trading at around $50 per share, more or less, as of filming this video. And of course, not to mention the fact that that does not even include dividends. Now some more facts about DGRO, the expense ratio is 0.08%, making it very, very cheap. Although there are some other dividend growth ETFs across the market that do have a slightly cheaper expense ratio, but overall still pretty cheap. Now, DGRO is currently trained towards the higher end of the 52-week range, but still for longer-term investors, as you can see, for the most part, DGRO has traded up and to the right and paid dividends all along the way. And now, when it comes to DGRO, the top 10 holdings are pretty bulletproof. Companies like Microsoft, Apple, JP Morgan, Johnson & Johnson, ExxonMobil, Abby, Chevron, Procter Gamble, Broadcom, and Pfizer. All in all, over 430 different companies within this ETF. So this ETF is going to be very, very diversified. Which means even if one, two, three, five, or 10 companies within this ETF have a bad quarter or a bad year, the rest of the ETF should hopefully pick up the slack. Now to dig a little bit deeper into DGRO's dividend and dividend growth, this is where this ETF really shines in my opinion. You can see the starting dividend yield is somewhere of around 2.5% more or less, which isn't the highest starting dividend yield, but honestly, when you consider the fact that the dividend growth is 12% for really 12 months and 8.7% over the three-year CAGR and almost 10% over the last 10 years. Looking at the dividend growth since this ETF's inception, this, this ETF back in the day would pay around 17 cents per share per quarter. And now just around 10 years later, this ETF is paying almost three times as much on a quarterly basis. That is some serious dividend growth and that's exactly what you're going to need if you want to potentially see massive, massive wealth from dividend growth investing. The next dividend growth ETF that offers not only growth, but also dividends and massive dividend growth, or all the pieces of the puzzle when it comes to building an insanely successful portfolio, potentially. We're talking about the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, or SCHD, and this happens to be one of my favorite ETFs across the entire market. Now, SCHD has a very straightforward objective. It says the fund's goal is to track as closely as possible before fees and expenses the total return to the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index. And keep in mind the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index has a plethora of screenings, making it very hard for individual companies to even make the cut. Now, SCHD, just like DGRO, has had some substantial growth which is going to be important if you do want to see that net worth grow in the future. For example, for investors that bought into this ETF around 10 or 12 years ago, they bought in at around 25 or 26, 27 dollars. And now SCHD is trading towards the middle range of the 52 week range, but still trading at over $70 per share. Now without dividends, this ETF is up 175%, which once again, imagine you had 10, 100, 1000 shares back in the day. That would be a substantial portfolio at this point. Now, SCHD's expense ratio is 0.06%, making this ETF a little bit cheaper to hold than DGRO. Now, like I sort of mentioned earlier, the index that SCHD tracks does have some pretty strict and rigorous screenings for individual stocks to make it inside. 
But some of the top stocks that made it in are Broadcom as of right now, Verizon, Amgen, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Merrick, Abbey, The Home Depot, Texas Instruments, and UPS. All in all, around 100 different companies when it comes to SCHD, making it diversified but not quite as diversified if we were to compare it to DGRO. Now, this is definitely one of my favorite parts about SCHD, the dividend. The current trillion 12-month dividend yield is around 3.65%, which is pretty substantial considering the growth potential and the growth historically. But also on top of that, the dividend growth rate. The dividend growth rate on the trillion 12 months is at 5.7%, on the 3-year 11.4%, the 5-year 13.6%, and the 10-year 11.11%. So now looking at SCHD's dividends historically, every single dividend that was paid all the way back since the inception of the CTF, you can see that on a quarterly basis over time, SCHD has paid its shareholders more and more and more consistently year over year. And to give you an exact example, back in 2014, around 10 years ago, the CTF was paying anywhere from around 25 cents to maybe 28 cents on a quarterly basis, now paying upwards of 65 and even 70 cents, which is insane. The last dividend growth ETF that's not only going to potentially sustain dividend growth investors long term, but even potentially make them super, super rich, is the Wisdom Tree US Quality Dividend Growth Fund, or DGRW. Now here on the website it says why DGRW gain access to the current investment landscape of US large cap dividend growing companies by applying quality and growth screens. And just like DGRO and SCHD, DGRW has seen massive growth historically in ETF price also pays a dividend, this time on a monthly frequency, but also has had massive dividend growth, which I'm going to show you here in a second. But on the max time frame, just around 11 or so years ago, since this ETF's inception, the ETF, just as far as price goes, is up over 173%, which is insanity considering this ETF also pays a pretty decent dividend. Now, DGRW does have a hefty expense ratio at 0.28%, which is definitely something to consider. And also, DGRW is trained towards the upper end of the 52-week range, which means it might not be the best buying opportunity as of right now, but for long-term investors, you really couldn't pick a bad time in history. Now, looking a little bit deeper into DGRW's top 10 holdings, it's no secret on why this ETF has performed so well over time. Look at these top 10 holdings. We have things like Microsoft, Apple, Broadcom, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, The Home Depot, Coca-Cola, Merck, Philip Morris, and Amity. All in all, 297 holdings, very diversified, and this ETF is what I would call as bulletproof as they pretty much get. Now, lastly, looking at DGRW's dividend, like I said earlier, it's not bad at all. Considering the growth potential this ETF also has, the trillion 12-month dividend yield is around 1.8%, and the dividend growth on the three years is 8.3%, the five-year is 7.15%, and the 10-year around 18%. So just like DGRO and just like SCHD, this ETF has grown in price substantially over time, has paid a dividend consistently, and on top of that has paid more and more in dividends over time, making this ETF along with the others potential ETFs that could in fact make long-term dividend growth investors extremely, insanely rich long-term. So there we have it. Those are three of the highest quality dividend growth ETFs across the entire market, if you ask me. Now, once again, the reason that I consider them that is because they all have grown substantially over time in ETF price and also on top of that, have paid cash flow and more and more cash flow as time goes on. But now I want to hear from you guys down below if you happen to agree with me that these three dividend growth ETFs are some of the highest quality that you can come by. And if not, comment a dividend growth ETF that you think is better in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by, and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.